what's up everyone, this is Cybernet8610, and today we're going to be opening up something a little bit different, and that is a Yu-Gi-Oh! Value Box. This Value Box is a newer one that's come out. I've heard that uh, you can get it at Target. That's where I got this one, so I'm not really sure if you could possibly find it at other stores, but I found this one at Target, and uh, it has uh, Mega Fanabee's Dracosack in it as a bigger card, which is pretty cool. I guess it sort of got a reprint. <laughs> uh, also has uh, 70 sleeves and then uh, 6 booster packs in it, so I like these Value Boxes or I like the ones that uh, that came out earlier with like the structure decks and stuff in the past and I was hoping Konami would continue them but uh, yeah even something like this is pretty cool as well so and I assume you're getting the you know all these different booster packs too I guess they're the same ones on the back although I have different sleeves so maybe they're different than what it shows on the back who knows but you do get Dragosec I guess it's the only confirmed thing so yeah let's go ahead and open this I believe this was also uh, $20 as well if people are wondering I just kind of found them at Target. I'm, like I've said before, my Target usually doesn't have stuff like this. You're kind of lucky to get the newest pack at the Target that I go to. Well, oh, it's kind of like glued on the packaging. There we go. Can I? Now will it let me slide the cards out? There we go. Be careful on that because it actually has like glue right there, which sticks on the inside, so <laughs> you could end up bending one of the packs the way they have that package. That's not the best way of doing that. And, man, there is tape everywhere, so... There we go. Here's our card sleeves. So, these are pretty nice card sleeves. They're official, and uh, yeah, I think they're pretty good quality. That's something I feel like I could recommend. See, I might just tear the box open instead of trying to mess with the all the tape and everything just to get the giant card out safely. There we go. We have our Mecha Phantom Beast Draco Sack. Pretty cool. I like the, the bigger cards like this. I call them giant cards, but I guess technically the giant cards are the ones you win at those tournaments and stuff. I see people getting like on Facebook. Oh. It's like every couple of packs are glued together. Okay, the person that packaged this was a brain surgeon. They were just... <laughs> Either that or they really didn't like Yu-Gi-Oh players, or they didn't like me, because all this glue. You guys know how I feel about that in the past. But yeah, we got some pretty good packs, actually, from this, if if they have something good in them. Sorry, I'm trying to fan them out to you guys. There we go. A lot of different Zexel packs, so let's see what we get from them. Primal Origin packs have a bunch of glue on them. On them, you know, not holding them together, but I mean, like, on the sides. So let's see. Abyss Rising. We have uh, Gagagigo the Risen. And then starting off with an Ultra Rare. We have uh, Empress of Prophecy. Man, that's awesome. Starting off good with this. Already getting an Ultra Rare. And a uh, Judgment of the Light. I don't know if I'm opening these in order or not. I've kind of forgotten the order. I think we are so far. There we go. We have a uh, dark uh, ZW Chimera clad, rare, and then a number card, a super rare, and that is a number uh, C39 Utopia Ray Victory. So already another hollow, too. That's awesome. You never know when some of this repackaged stuff like this, like, that comes out if, uh, you know, there's been people that have always said that those things can be scaled or something, which means that people have looked through to see if there's hollows. So, yeah, I don't know if I'm just having good luck or what on it, but I've never really had too awful luck with the repackaged stuff, like... I know I've had several people say that you should never get that, like even the little cubes and stuff that they have, but I don't think that's always the case. Wheel of Prophecy, rare. And, well, definitely not the case for me, I guess. We have a Five Formation uh, Goku. I think this, or Gyoku, Gyoku or something like that, yeah. There we go, super rare. <laughs> well, this one's awesome. Cosmo Blazer. Well, give me it back. <laughs> Yeah, now we're out of order, I think, because Cosmo Blazer was after Abyss Rising. We have Infernal Flame Vixen, rare. And Primal Origin, there you go. There, I'm trying to get the, the pack stuck to me. <laughs> trying to get it off of me. We have a uh, number 80 Rhapsody and Berserk, rare. That's a good rare. And then a uh, Noble Knight uh, Ector. 
There we go, another super rare. Awesome. Especially Noble Knight. You guys know I like Noble Knights. And last pack. What do we have? Starting off with a number. I think he's one of the coolest looking numbers, too. It's kind of a shame it's not holographic. Just because it'd look cooler. We have a uh, Phantom Fortress. Uh, I can't read it to the camera. Let's see. Uh, Enter Blanier. And we have a Sylvan uh, Sage Qualia for an Ultra Rare. We're ending with an Ultra Rare. Man, now that was an awesome value box for me. That really was a good value, right? <laughs> I could be in a commercial for it. I'm sorry, that was awful. But yeah, I was able to get a three Super Rares, two Ultra Rares from this, and, and even the uh, the Draco Sex. So yeah, that's really awesome. I hope you guys have enjoyed this opening. But uh, yeah, just tell me what you guys think about this in the comments, as well as like this if you enjoyed it, and subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! openings. Again, thank you guys for watching, and of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya! Hope you guys have enjoyed my latest video, be sure to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, as well as check out my other two channels, Cyber Night Games for Let's Plays, and also a Cyber Night CCG for Card Fight Vanguard openings. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya!